Kick-ass facts, the Matilda effect. Ba -bew -bew -bew! The Matilda effect is a bias against acknowledging the achievements of women scientists whose work is attributed to their male colleagues. This phenomenon was first described by suffragist and abolitionist Matilda Jocelyn Gage, 1826 to 1898, in her 1870 essay, Women as Inventor. Gage argued that women were already competent inventors and supported her argument by citing examples of women inventors. She also articulated the barriers to women becoming inventors and receiving patents. Gage argued that society disapproved of women who invent, prompting them to suppress their talents, not seek out mechanical education, and patent their inventions under the names of their husbands or other men to avoid ridicule. The term Matilda effect was coined in 1993 by science historian Margaret W. Watt Rossiter. Examples of the Matilda effect include, but are not limited to, Trotula, Trot Trota of Salerno, 12th century, she was an Italian physician, author of works which after her death were attributed to male authors. Hostility toward women as teachers and healers led to the denial of her very existence. At first her work was credited to her husband and son, but as information got passed on, monks confused her name for that of a man. Nettie Stevens, 1861-1912, was the discoverer of the XY sex determination system. Her studies of mealworms revealed for the first time that an organism's sex is determined by its chromosomes rather than by environmental or other factors. Stevens greatly influenced the scientific community. However, Thomas Hunt Morgan, a distinguished geneticist at the time, is generally credited with this discovery. Despite her extensive work in the field of genetics, Stevens' con contributions to Morgan's work are often disregarded. Mary Curie, a physicist and chemist, conducted pioneering research on radioactivity. In 1903, she became the first woman in France to earn a PhD in physics. Professors who reviewed her doctoral thesis, which was about radiation, declared that it was the greatest single contribution to science ever written. Rumors of a Nobel Prize began to circulate, but some members of the French Academy of Scientists attributed her work to her husband and co-workers. They began to lobby quietly to remove her name from the prize, but Pierre, her husband, insisted to the Nobel Committee that Marie had originated the research, conceived the experiments, and generated theories about the nature of radioactivity. He refused to accept the Nobel Prize unless Marie was acknowledged. She was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize, the first person to win a Nobel Prize twice, and the only person to win a Nobel Prize in two scientific fields. Her husband, Pierre Curie, was the co-winner of her first Nobel Prize, making them the first ever married couple to win the Nobel Prize and launching the Curie family legacy of five Nobel Prizes. Lise Meitner, 1878-1968, was a physicist who was one of those responsible for the discovery of the element protactinium and nuclear fission. While working on radioactivity at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute of Chemistry in Berlin, she discovered the radioactive isotope protactinium-231 in 1917. In 1938, Meitner and her nephew discovered nuclear fission. She was praised by Albert Einstein as the German Mary Curie. She was nominated for the Nobel Prize 48 times in both chemistry and physics, but never got it. But Otto Hahn, her longtime collaborator, did. She was often referred to as his assistant or technician, even though they were co-workers and peers. Rosalind Franklin, 1920 to 1958, now recognized as an important contributor to the 1953 discovery of DNA structure. At the time of the discovery by Francis Crick and James Watson, for which the two men received the 1962 Nobel Prize, her work was not properly credited, though Watson described the crucial importance of her contribution in his 1968 book, The Double Helix. Marion Diamond, 1926 to 2017, working at the University of California, Berkeley, she experimentally discovered the phenomenon of brain plasticity, which ran contrary to previous neurological dogma. When her paper was published in 1964, she discovered the names of her two secondary authors, both men, had been placed before her name, and her name was placed in parentheses. She protested that she had done the essential work described in the paper, and her name was to be in first place without parentheses. Honorable mention to Ben Bars, 1954-2017, a neurologist at Stanford University Medical School who transitioned from female to male. He spoke of his scientific achievements having been perceived differently depending on what sex others thought he was at the time. Prior to his transition to male, Bars' scientific achievements were ascribed to men or devalued, but after transitioning to male, his achievements were credited to him and celebrated.